Hey guys, welcome to another server minor plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007 and today we're looking at the ore regeneration plugin. This is a really awesome plugin which allows you to select an area which will regenerate ores at random and you can replace certain blocks with other blocks. So we are going to have a few examples here. So I made this one earlier and as you can see as soon as I break a block it will get replaced. So stone is replaced with stone and emerald is either replaced with stone or gold or lapis. So you can set it randomly and you can see that blocks are popping in and out and then you can set an amount of time before it completely regenerates to back what it was. So if we give this a couple more seconds hopefully the emerald at the front will come back and then if we have a look at some of the other ones you can see this lapis gets replaced with stone, stone might get replaced with lapis so you can really set anything and customize each block. Now this one changes it to bedrock briefly before going back to the original block and as you can see the emerald has now come back after X amount of time. So there's a ton you can do with this and let's just jump into it. So the first thing we actually need is obviously the blocks we want to make it out of. I'm just going to make a simple kind of cube, cuboid thing and this is where we are going to add some more and just make it nice. Uh, so let's go ahead and choose our item. Maybe let's go with a block of diamond. Here we go. So I'm going to place it randomly, just like a, an ore or something, and then we can select it. So this plugin has its own wand. It's called the dynamic region wand. So if you do forward slash dynamic region wand, it's a quite long command. It will give you this diamond axe. So here it is. I've already got one. And just like world edit, we want to select the bottom left hand corner and then the top right hand corner, selecting all of it. Once you've done that, just type in the name in chat, I'm just going to call it diamond. And then once we've done that, there's a few other commands that we can do. So if we go ahead and do forward slash region list, that's going to list all the regions we've created. So I've made a few test ones. And then if we go ahead and do show border followed by diamond, that's going to encapsulate the area in glass and show you what area it actually affects, which is really handy. The main command you want to do is forward slash region and then the name. So diamond, this will bring up a GUI and there's a few things we can do. The first thing is turn on and off mobs, so this is just a toggle, you can see in chat it's changing. The second one is PvP, you can toggle this on and off as well, uh, which is pretty handy if you had like a area with players. And then the final one is where you can put your blocks, so we are currently mining diamond and stone, so pop those in there. And then you can right click each of these to change them. So the first one is going to be the replenish radius. This is pretty cool. This can make it a more dynamic area so it can replenish blocks around it instead of just the single block if you really want that. Then we have the replenish time. So by default it's two seconds but you can obviously add 10 seconds, minus five, add one, etc. You can really change how much time it is and then we are back to two in fact. If we go back into it, you can change the block it replaces on if you want. Um, I typically didn't put anything here, but obviously you can if you want. And then if we go back to the replace with, so when you break a diamond block, what do you want it to replace with? Well, I want stone and then potentially diamond as well. So it could be either. And we can do the same thing for stone. You can obviously change all of these features and then go into the replace with. So if you break stone, you're either going to get more stone or a diamond block or even a gold block maybe. So you could add even more. And all you need to do is just hit back and close the GUI and then it's all set up. So if I go into game mode zero, we can see how it works. So what we're going to do is start breaking blocks and you can see this one is just getting stone. And if I break this diamond again, it goes to stone. And then after a few seconds, it goes back to its original. So it goes back to what it originally was um, after two seconds. And that is kind of how it works. So a more sensible or realistic thing to do would be to make it bedrock so people can't just really easily get stuff. So if I change the replace with and add some bedrock in there. So what's going to happen now? Well, the diamond blocks are going to be replaced by bedrock for about 10 seconds. You can see they are staying there a lot longer than the other blocks were. And this allows players to stop farming, kind of getting ridiculous amounts of diamond in this case. Obviously you can make it longer, you could change the blocks it replaces with and make it more dynamic. Um, but this is just a simple example of what you could do with it. So if you wanted to change the area, you can do full slash edit mode diamond and then on. And this allows you to break blocks and change uh, the area. Make sure you're in game mode one, it makes it a lot easier. And then we can turn it off and then we could go back to mining it as normal. But that is how you would set up an ore node or mine in-game. 
very easy and very customizable. So here we are on the Spigot page, you can see it's updated from 1.15 to 1.17. You've got some example videos here if you want to check those out, you've got a few questions, here are some permissions and the commands. There's not too many commands, but it's a really cool plugin and made very, very well. If you have any problem, you can contact the guy on Discord, so Meep, if you want to ask him any questions. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.